All right, for this part, I'm going to be getting into uh, AI and optogenics. Uh, again, reading from notes, so uh, please excuse any mishaps. Uh, first off, I want to say uh, I suggest re reading all the articles, uh, but specifically if you read the article about the rat and the optogenics experiment, um, it will be helpful. Uh, basically, it made the visibility of a line the rat was viewing disappear using optogenics, and the article is uh, posted below. Um, so getting straight into this, uh, I own a Coach Carter DVD. DVD. I've seen it before multiple times. Uh, I went to watch the film again when this whole gang stalking thing was uh, going on. And when I went to view the film, the scenes were out of order. Uh, and Coach Carter in the scenes with basketball's players was made to seem as if he was checking them out uh, in a homosexual manner. Again, all gang stalking related. Moving on um, to AI and uh, deep fake voices. So I was uh, in my residence, the V2K mouthpiece patient, which I uh, detailed about in previous videos, was active, and I was being forced to have force erections remotely, uh, again from nefarious technology. Um, during this com during this uh, whole deal, my sister's voice sample appeared. She stated, "I quote, can I play with that? That being in reference to the machine causing the force erections." Next point. Again, these are all just kind of anecdotes of, of what's been going on via gang stalking. AI invisibility. Um, I grew up a Christian, um, familiar with the Bible. Uh, when reading verses in a physical Bible, some of them are not made visible. They are hidden. Uh, but when I looked them up after remembering the verses which are quote-unquote hidden and uh, that they did not appear in the physical Bible, those verses appear in an internet search. Um, so that's... Uh, all I have for now, I'm going to be signing off.